It's a WKYT first alert severe weather day. I'm tracking large hail producing thunderstorms in the central Kentucky in just a moment. A week out from the May primary, Hillary Clinton is in town again. We'll take you inside the campaign event coming up. The NAACP has a rally at Lexington Catholic High School and makes a new allegation. What the group accuses the school's football coach of doing. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Good afternoon, I'm Jennifer Palumbo on this WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day as severe storms are pounding parts of Kentucky right now. Here's a live look at downtown Lexington where it's dry for now and nearly 80 degrees, but it won't look like that much longer. We're under a severe thunderstorm watch and some places have warnings. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has the latest now, Chris. Yeah, we are dealing with that severe thunderstorm watch for all the counties that are shaded in yellow. That is most of central Kentucky, western Kentucky included in that. Eastern Kentucky, give it a little while and we will likely be placed under a watch as we go through the evening. This goes until 8 o'clock, though I suspect that may be extended a little deeper into the evening across parts of the region. Defender radar network lighting up with strong to severe thunderstorms to our west. This storm in particular that is right on top of Hardin County, the E-Town area, is producing some major hell. Had a tornado warning with it a little earlier. The circulation with that storm is no longer as prominent, so we just have a severe thunderstorm warning. That does include the E-Town area and points just to the east along the Bluegrass Parkway and right on top of Interstate 65. Defenders tracking the hell part of the storm moving just to the north of the E-Town area, not too far away from Radcliffe, and we switch modes on Defender to ask it to show us just how large the hell can be with this. And look at this. It is showing upwards of golf ball to grapefruit size hell, potentially moving into the northern parts of Hardin County. 3D Defender now showing these storms really spiking up into the atmosphere. The more red you see here, the taller you get, the better the chance that's going to have some damaging winds and some big time hail with that. And it's cruising right on top of the E Town area. Now to the northeast of that, starting to get in on some thunderstorms. Those aren't severe as of yet, but it won't take very much at all to get in on some of those storms that are severe. Notice they're growing up a little bit, and we're starting to see now a lot of lightning beginning to increase. Storms very close to the capital city of Frankfurt. We can take you there and show you what it looks like. Not too far away from downtown Frankfurt and the capital, looking toward that northwestern sky, and we're going to see the thunderstorm progressing on in from the west and the northwest. So as we pan across the skyline, the farther uh, to the west we get, you start to see the leading edge of that thunderstorm as it makes its way into Franklin County. Obviously, we have crews there awaiting the arrival of the storms as they make their way into central Kentucky. We've got crews scattered about the entire region to keep you safe out there this evening. Now, right on top of Frankfurt and points to the west, these are not severe, though they're slow movers right now, putting down a lot of rain. Severe thunderstorm warning far northern Kentucky, up near the Covington, Cincinnati area. Now we're seeing another line of thunderstorms in the western Kentucky tornado right now in Graves County, not too far away from Fancy Farm. This has been confirmed and has produced a lot of damage so far into the western part of Kentucky. That is the second line of storms that may impact our region as we get deeper into the evening. So as we go through that evening, your severe weather impact, high winds, hail on the high side, potential is there for some flooding, and at least a small threat for a little spin up from one of these stronger uh, thunderstorms. Jennifer, when I come back in a few minutes, we will look at a new hour by hour forecast that will forecast the radar over the next several hours, and we'll continue to see those waves of strong to severe thunderstorms impacting the area. Thank you, Chris. And you can track the storms and get the latest forecasts on WKYT.com. And if you haven't already, you can also download the WKYT News and Weather app on your smartphone. Kentucky's primary is one week from today, and with Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton inching closer to the nomination, she's back in the Bluegrass State. Clinton met with voters in Lexington today at the Family Care Center on Red Mile Place. Sean Moody has more in our top story at 4. This event involved parents who were also out in the workforce. They talked about their concerns. A lot of them said they were still undecided, but they liked what they heard today. 
Hillary Clinton spoke with parents at the Family Care Center for about an hour this afternoon. She focused on the expenses of child care. She talked about how parents' roles have evolved over the years, and with both parents often in the workforce now, it can be hard to find people to take care of their children. And if they do, it can get really expensive. In some cases, Clinton said parents were paying as much as college tuition. You, you stop, you think about that, and as some of the parents were saying yesterday, they can't save money for college because they're paying right now for childcare. They're working to support their families, but a lot of the stress is because it's so expensive on childcare that they don't feel like they're putting anything away for later education. Clinton proposed subsidies so that families wouldn't spend more than 10% of their income on childcare. Up from here, Clinton headed to another campaign event in Louisville. In Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. Hillary Clinton's husband, former President Bill Clinton, is scheduled to be back in Kentucky Thursday. So far, no details have been released. Meanwhile, voters in West Virginia and Nebraska are choosing their candidates in primaries today. On the Republican side, Donald Trump is now the presumptive nominee. Democrats Hillary Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders are both still in the fight. Diane Gallagher has the latest now from the campaign trail. Voters are back at it again this Tuesday. It's the good people of West Virginia and Nebraska hitting the polls. And while both parties are on the ballots, it's the first week where the focus seems solely on the Democrats. It's nearly mid May, but Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton remain in a heated battle for the nomination. And yet, neither candidate spent time in West Virginia or Nebraska Tuesday. Instead, Clinton sat down with working parents in a state that votes next week, Kentucky. If we don't support families, we don't support making our country or any community as strong as it can and should be. And California's primary isn't until June, but Sanders is there today and is banking on the delegate rich state to deliver his campaign to the convention. That democracy is one person, one vote, not billionaires buying elections. And though Donald Trump has turned his attention to the general election after becoming the Republicans' presumptive nominee when John Kasich... And as I suspend my campaign today... And Ted Cruz... We are suspending our campaign. ...called it quits last week. Cruz, it appears, hasn't completely closed the doors on 2016. The reason we suspended the race last week uh -huh. is with Indiana's loss. I, I didn't see a viable path to victory. If, if that right. changes... Uh, we will certainly respond accordingly. In Washington, Diane Gallagher. CBS News reports Trump's campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, has been tapped to head up the search for Trump's vice president. Lexington police are searching for three men, one who was wearing a Captain America mask and shirt who robbed a bank this afternoon. Police say the men walked in, showed a gun to the teller, and demanded money. They say the three men are likely in their late teens or 20s. So far, no arrests have been made. We'll have the latest on this bank robbery on WKYT News at 5. Lexington police say charges are pending against a man injured in a shooting. It happened just before 7 this morning on Kildare Court. Police say a woman shot her former boyfriend in self-defense. He's now recovering at UK Hospital. Police say the woman had an active domestic violence order against him. Our reporters are working on a number of other stories for WKYT starting at 4.30. Sam Dick is in the newsroom with a look at some of the news in progress. Good afternoon, Sam. Good afternoon, Jennifer. Members of Lexington's chapter of the NAACP rallying outside Lexington Catholic High School this morning. Leaders asked for the school principal and president to step down. This comes weeks after police charged a 17-year-old student with terroristic threatening and harassment in connection to race-related messages allegedly sent to a football teammate. We're scheduled and met with the bishop of the Catholic Diocese, Bishop Stowe, Lexington Catholic Diocese, on two occasions. And to our dismay, have not received any resolve or any plan of action from that office. The NAACP says two recent meetings with the bishop have led to zero changes in the school's culture. A parent of current and former Lexington Catholic students also attended to show her support for the school. I've asked my kids. They've had no problems. They can talk to me about everything. They said they've never experienced any type of harassment. I believe them, and I'm just here to support the school. I'm not speaking on the allegations that's going on right now. I'm just here to support Lexington Catholic. 
Lexington Catholic responded to the rally via email saying, quote, the decision of the Lexington chapter of the NAACP to rally in front of Lexington Catholic High School is disappointing. Lexington Catholic has already announced its commitment to address issues of diversity, end of quote. Now, last week, Lexington Catholic announced it will work with local and national diversity experts to reinforce the school's commitment to a culture of respect for diversity. We'll have much more ahead on WKYT News coming up at 5. Investigators still trying to figure out what caused a man's death in a Wayne County cave. They say they found 57-year-old Anthony Ersman dead Sunday night about 200 feet into a cave off Adderholt Road. The Wayne County coroner says Ersman was an experienced caver and they did not find any signs of trauma on his body. Investigators say they do not suspect any foul play in his death. We'll have the latest on WKYT News at 530. That's a look at some of the news in progress. Jennifer, back to you. Thank you, Sam. Facebook is accused of trying to silence conser conservative political posts. Facebook's response in WKYT Money Watch. And some airports threatening to replace the TSA if the federal agency doesn't do something about the long lines. We'll explain next on WKYT News at 4. Just announced from Ford. 0% financing for 60 months. And now for a limited time, get an extra $1,000 smart bonus cash. On Edge and Explore. Ford, America's best selling brand, now with a great offer. 0% financing for 60 months and an extra $1,000 smart bonus cash. Supplies are limited, so hurry while selection is best and see your local Ford dealer today. Tired of painting? Go Rhino and you'll never have to paint again. Now you can have the guaranteed protection of Rhino Shield for brick, stucco, wood or aluminum and rhino shield won't chip crack flake or peel for home or business don't paint don't vinyl go rhino don't paint don't vinyl go rhino shield never paint your house again rhino shield i'm concerned about nursing homes that have been cited for deficiencies like failure to provide quality service or even proper medical treatment please you have to look for signs of neglect or abuse. We have to protect our elderly. If you see signs of neglect or abuse, call us. Don't wait. Your loved one may not be able to ask for help. It's up to you to call. Call Hughes and Coleman right now. 800-800-4600. The world a president has to grapple with. Sometimes you can't even imagine. That's the job. And she's the one who's proven she can get it done. Securing a massive reduction in nuclear weapons, standing up against the abuse of women, protecting Social Security, expanding benefits for the National Guard, and winning health care for 8 million children. The presidency is the toughest job in the world, and she's the one who will make a real difference for you. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. Shake it on down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for the second annual Carolina Country Music Fest, June 9th through the 12th. The Southeast's hottest music event. Rock out with country music's hottest stars like Keith Urban, Tim McGraw, Florida Georgia Line, plus many more. Sandy Beaches, Sun Kiss Skin, and a can't miss country music event. We'll see you where the music meets the ocean front at the Carolina Country Music Fest, June 9th through 12th. Book your trip now at visitmyrtlebeach.com. Don? Ned? Trump? Cruz? Congress. Mike Pape. You? <laughs> yeah, Mike Pape. Unlike James Comer, who refuses to repeal Obamacare, Mike Pape will repeal Obamacare. And unlike Comer, who's for Obama's amnesty, Mike Pape is against amnesty and will build the wall. Mike Pape is a trusted conservative. He'll make America great again. I'm Mike Pape, and I approve this message. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Facebook is denying allegations it manipulates its trending news section for political purposes. 
That tops today's WKYT Money Watch. A tech blog reports that some Facebook employees were told to suppress stories from conservative news sources. Topics that reportedly did not make the cut include Mitt Romney and Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul. Facebook says it's found no evidence the allegations are true. New signs of frustration over the nation's airport security screening process. Airports in New York and New Jersey have now joined a growing chorus of complaints about inadequate staffing and long wait times. As Michelle Miller reports, they're demanding the TSA fix the problem or else they'll take security into their own hands. It's the irony of flying. Planes are the fastest way to travel, but wait times just to get on board keep getting longer. Airports complain that TSA staffing isn't keeping up with increased passenger traffic. The flight only took two hours, but you had to get to the airport two hours early, you know, to get through the security line, which is kind of unfortunate. Not only unfortunate, but unacceptable, according to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. In a letter to the Transportation Security Administration, it says the patience of the flying public has reached a breaking point. We can no longer tolerate the continuing inadequacy of TSA passenger screening services. Because the lines are so long, I, I missed my flight, so they put me on the next flight. The Port Authority says it might implement a plan already under consideration in Atlanta and Seattle, where officials could hire outside help contracting with private security companies. We're looking at all the options, including uh, we're, we're, we're going to investigate what it, what it would take to privatize. We're looking at other airports that have privatized. The TSA says it's working to decrease passenger wait times by using canines to expedite screenings, asking Congress to approve more overtime pay, and speeding up the hiring process to bring on new officers. We're working very hard to dramatically improve our ability to move people through, training more people than we've, than we've ever trained before on a weekly basis. Uh, but the travel volumes that we're seeing are still going to make airports crowded at peak periods of summer. Now, if you're annoyed by long lines at airport security, the industry group Airlines for America wants you to snap photos of the lines and post them to Instagram using the hashtag IHateTheWait and tagging the TSA. Strong to severe thunderstorms pushing into central Kentucky as we speak. We've got new warnings to share with you right after the break. When severe storms roll in, we go to work to keep you and your family safe by calling a first alert severe weather day. Keeping you on top of the storms with continuous coverage on air on WKYT.com and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. Plus an experienced weather team ready to alert you when you need to get out of harm's way. Keeping you safe this severe weather season, that's what we stand for. First alert severe weather days, only on WKYT. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Nothing brings a family together like fun around the backyard pool. Here is your last chance to make that happen, and the price has never been better. For a limited time, Blue World Pools has the big 15 by 24 Econoline pool for not $3.99, not even $3.49. If you call now, that pool can be yours for only $2.99. That price still includes pump, filter, liner, ladder, and a free automatic pool cleaner. All that including free installation on your ready site for just $2.99. That's a $1,995 value for only $2.99. That's awesome! Call Blue World Pools now and take advantage of this incredible offer. Want more pizzazz? Of course you do! So jump up to our midline pool or grab for it all with Blue World Pools Top of the Line Classic Pool. The ultimate in high style living. The choice is yours. But remember, this is your last chance to take advantage of our limited time offer. The price will never get any better than this. How could it? Call Blue World Pools right now and beat that heat! Accelerate your career plan. Kelly Services is now hiring production associates at Toyota Motor Manufacturing in Georgetown. Great pay and premium benefits package. For details and application, go to kellyservices.us slash tmmk. Nancy Jo Kemper, a trusted minister, a single mother who worked to put her kids through school. 
and now running to fight for us in Congress. People in Kentucky are struggling. It's time to invest in jobs and protect Social Security. But Washington seems only interested in protecting the very wealthy. It's time to fix this broken system and focus on people once again. It's time for a leader who serves. I'm Nancy Jo Kemper, and I approve this message. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthDocs.com to view a video of Dr. Jennifer Fusen on minimally invasive surgery. Baptist Health Lexington. Be a healthier you. WKYT News is brought to you by Paul Miller Ford. Drive happy. WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day as we track rounds of severe thunderstorms from west to east across the area. Severe thunderstorm watches out for all the counties that are shaded in yellow, and that's a bunch of them. Eastern Kentucky, give it time, you will likely be placed under a watch as well. This one goes until 8 o'clock this evening. Defender Radar Network lighting up with rounds of thunderstorms coming at us. We've got additional rounds that will likely fire up behind what we're seeing here right now. Strongest thunderstorm that we've been tracking has produced some large hail reports and a little bit of wind damage across parts of the uh, Hardin County area just to the north of E-Town where we've been getting upwards of golf ball size hail reports. Defender Radar Network says there's still just a little spin on the southern side of that, though the strongest part of the storm that is producing the hail has weakened considerably from roughly 30 minutes or so ago. That's a severe thunderstorm warning out until 445 for Bullet Harden and Nelson counties for up to golf ball sized hill. That'll head right toward the Bardstown area. And if that holds together, Lawrenceburg down toward uh, the Springfield area, Willisburg, we have to be on guard for that particular storm as well. 3D Defender and this bad boy continues to spike way, way up there. When you see a storm like this hitting the banner, it's getting way up there in that cold air and likely is going to produce a lot of large hail. That's indeed what we've been seeing with this storm. Now, additional thunderstorms are beginning to flare up a little bit more here to the northeast of that. Here's Frankfurt, the Lexington area. This is to our northwest, and some of those are beginning to pick up the pace a little bit. Certainly, the lightning has increased over the past 15 minutes just to the west of downtown Frankfurt. These may be producing some pea sized hail as of now. Don't think they're severe, but give them another half hour to an hour, and we'll see what they can do. From stamping ground up towards sections of Sadieville, Peaks Mill, downtown Frankfurt is dry now. Worst of the weather is just off to our north and northwest. A severe thunderstorm warning around the Covix and Cincinnati area has been allowed to expire. Folks in Cynthia up toward Falmouth, line is beginning to come together and will continue to work its way into your area coming up here very shortly. Why am I saying this is just the first line? Look what is developing in western Kentucky. This is producing a tornado right now into Graves County. Reports of damage coming in from parts of Graves County near Fancy Farm into Marshall County. So tornado with that storm is tracking to the northeast and that's the beginning of another round of thunderstorms that will zip in here as the evening wears on. Hour by hour future radar. We are seeing those thunderstorms that are making their way toward the area. This is that next batch that tries to develop and roll into town between 8 and 10 o'clock this evening. Then southeastern Kentucky, look what happens into the wee hours of the morning. So that's what we're going to have to be on guard, uh, guard for with these thunderstorms that can produce a lot of high winds, a lot of large hail. Just had a 65 mile per hour wind gust reported out of Elizabethtown in Hardin County. Storm Prediction Center basically putting out the bullseye right on top of central and eastern Kentucky. So the greatest risk for severe weather today across the entire country is right on top of central and eastern Kentucky. Part of the same storm system that impacted uh, folks to our west, but overall it is nowhere near as strong as what we were talking about. And as we go through the evening, we're going to see additional rounds of thunderstorms, and we'll continue to hang on to some of those as we go through the next couple of days. But uh, that Storm Prediction Center, again, highlighting the possibility of severe weather not only across the bluegrass region as of now, but we are getting the possibility of additional uh, rounds of severe weather over the next couple of days. Well, when severe weather hits, we rely on our team of WKYT weather watchers to share real-time information on days like this. Now, tonight, 
Even with the severe weather, you have a special opportunity to join our team. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell is joining us now from the Kentucky Theater in downtown Lexington to tell us more on how to be a weather watcher and watch Twister. Hi, Jim. And we are down here in downtown Lexington at the Kentucky Theater. And I'm so sorry that I'm not there with you tracking some of these storms, but we've got to get our team assembled of weather watchers and get them prepared for the upcoming severe weather season because it's already started. We've been dealing with rounds over the past several weeks, and here we go with it again tonight. And if you want to come out, this is a very safe place to be, by the way, and we'll go over the exact location you should be during a tornado warning if it happens on us here tonight. I mean, we're going to take this very serious. So come on out, sit with us. We'll get you up to date and train you to watch a fantastic movie. 1996, I'm not going to tell you how old I was, but I was in the theaters watching this in 1996, and it was the best thing coming and going. I'll be honest with you. Those effects were cutting edge at the time. Now, today, they kind of fall behind, but still a great movie to come and check out, and plus the information that we're going to pass along to you about it. So come out here at Kentucky Theater tonight. Our program will start at 7. You can get here a little bit before, and we'll do a little meet and greet. Chris, obviously, not going to be here. Uh, I think Mike Linden's there in the studio with him as well, but we're going to get uh, Micah out because he doesn't get, need any sleep anyway. We're going to get him back down here too, and uh, we'll talk to you and give you a nice little presentation and get you ready for the upcoming severe weather season. The movie starts at 7.30. If you're going to try to get here last minute, 7.30, that's when we'll start rolling the film here, guys. So uh, we'll be uh, back here at about 5 o'clock and give you more information on uh, what's going on down here in Lexington. All right. Well, you're down there uh, training a new crop of weather watchers. We'll be here holding down the fort. If I can catch a break in all this, maybe I can sneak away down there too, Jennifer. All right. Thank you, Chris. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $150 million, and Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is $40 million. We'll be right back. Exciting, creative, edgy, fun. A career in cosmetology is always in style, and Parrot & Company School of Hair Design can help you be a part of it. Success begins with proper training. Make it happen at Barrett & Company. Call today and enroll in Barrett & Company. Updating a room can be simple and affordable with Perspectives. We're the leader for providing a large in-stock selection of quality paints, primers, stains, and coatings. Our color matching technology allows us to customize any paint color you need with state-of-the-art color matching equipment. Recreate a discontinued color that you can't find anywhere else. Create a new color that only your project has. Or bring back a dull area with a fresh coat of paint. Visit Perspectives, located off Southland Drive, behind Windshields. Listen up. This is the time, this is the place. And this is Ford F-150, the truck that goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with your life. Made of high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy that pulled the highest safety rating the government can give. And with Pro Trailer Backup Assist, it's like having your head on a swivel now. So load up your crew. This is the time. Now get an F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months or up to $7,050 in total savings. See your local Ford dealer. Put a local pro on the case with Case Foundation Repair and Waterproofing. We've been solving all your foundation and water problems with trusted service since 1944. Case Foundation System stabilizes your home's foundation and settlement needs. Our waterproofing systems offer an affordable solution for your basement and crawl space. Case also repairs cracks, bowed walls, and solves drainage problems. With Case's concrete lifting and leveling system, we'll stabilize your porch, patio, and sidewalk. Call for a free estimate and put a local pro on the case. Every time a biker mounts up, he puts his life on the line. It's usually the careless driver that causes the accident. A lot of lawyers say that they'll handle your motorcycle case. Why not trust yours to someone who rides? If you have been injured on your bike as a result of a careless driver, call Scott Foster and schedule your free consultation today. If you're looking for a career that is rewarding and always in style, start your training for a career in cosmetology at Barrett & Company. Day and night classes are enrolling, so begin your journey into a fashion-forward career in cosmetology and call today and enroll in Barrett & Company. This week is National Nursing Home Week, and many caregivers in the bluegrass are celebrating. Deanne Stevens is out and about today at Cambridge Place Nursing Home with more. Hi, Deanne. Good afternoon, guys. We are here at Cambridge Place Nursing Home where a big celebration is going on this week. It's National Nursing Home Week. The good thing 
you of course can take part in it, and that's what we want folks to know. Kara Ball is with us from Cambridge Place. National Nursing Home Week. I mean, you pull up outside, you guys got signs and balloons. This is a big celebration this week. It's a huge deal. It's literally the best time of the whole year. That's what I say. It's like Christmas. But better. <laughs> you, guys, you guys compete with one another. I love uh, everybody that works here all dressed up. You walk in. Not only, I'm sure, is that fun for you, but the residents as well. Yeah, it gives them something to look at and laugh at, maybe. I mean, you know. <laughs> you got a different theme every day this week. Talk mm -hmm. about that. So, with 20s and 30s, um, 40s and 50s, 60s and 70s, and my personal favorite, 80s and 90s, and then um, 2000s. Talk about National Nursing Home Week, and, and not only is it to celebrate the residents as well as the employees, but it's also a really good reminder that a lot of these folks, they don't have anybody to come visit them. Get out and visit somebody in a nursing home this week. We're always looking for volunteers, whether it's calling bingo or coming in reading or just visiting, um, writing cards. We always need volunteers, and so National Nursing Home Week is a really good way to push that. Hey, come out and see us. We would love to have visitors. You guys have a few things going on, like some great giveaways. Oh, this yeah. week too. Oh yeah. So we'll be doing trivia and um, contests for you know like the biggest hair, those kinds of things. Um, so yeah, here's some gift baskets that we'll be giving away. Residents or staff can win them. We've got a snack basket. We've got a Fourth of July basket. We've got a beach basket. We've got little cups that people can win. All kinds of fun stuff. All kinds of funds. All kinds of all kinds of funds. Funds too. <laughs> yes. There's so much fun. There's funds uh, here at, at Cambridge uh, Place. Coming up at 4:50, we're going to talk to some of the residents. Jock here says he loves National Nursing Home Week. We'll tell you why he says that and more on how you can help out this week in the celebration. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. Back to you guys. Thank you, Deanne. And now here's what's coming up on WKYT News at 430.